What's going on, Webheads? It's your friendly neighborhood Spidey Fit. I am here in Santa Monica, California with my buddy Austin. Hey there. Today we're going to be doing five basic Spider Man movements to help you move more like the famous Webhead. So, Austin here is going to take me through these movements and uh, teach you guys how to do them. Alright, guys, so the first movement we're going to do is a one arm side monkey. Yeah, so one arm side monkey it comes from our movement, which is, starts with a two arm side monkey, which looks like this. Right here on the ground. We're just going from our crouch, moving our hands to the side, and kicking our feet over. Okay, and then if we take one hand away, now it looks a little bit, a little bit more Spider-Man like. All right, so just notice the pattern here. You're gonna go with the leading arm, then the back leg comes up. All right, and then you're gonna move the front leg. Remember to stay nice and low to the ground, with your chest slightly facing forward. Okay guys, so we just did that one arm side monkey and what that can lead you to is some really cool superhero poses up on an object. So now you can incorporate that and jump up with that one hand and get into your nice little web slinger pose. All right, and if you're really feeling it, you can jump off, nice superhero landing, just like that one arm side monkey movement, okay? So keep that in mind if you want to really look kind of cool and stylish. All right, everyone, what'd you guys think? It was freaking awesome, right? So Austin's uh, been doing this for a long time and I can only imagine how hard it's been doing this stuff. So I'm going to try that, but in a little different way because I can't side flip, but I can back flip. Once you guys are ready to move on from what we just did, this is what you're gonna do. All right, our second move is a shoulder roll, all right? AKA a ninja roll, because you're gonna look like a ninja while you do this, or in this case, like Spider-Man, okay? And why is that important? This is important not only because it looks cool, but it's also really important for safety. In case you fall off something tall, you want to be able to roll out of it. Or in case you're running and jumping and you trip, going into that shoulder roll is going to help keep you safe. We're going to start just like before in a nice crouch position, just like from our one arm side monkey. Now we're going to reach out with both hands, still staying in that crouch. Put your elbow onto the ground and roll up and over your head, okay? So watch as we do this here, boom, boom and right into that nice crouch position, okay? And now let's watch Spidey Fit try. So, yep, running through it. Reach out with the hands. Reach out both. Yep, and go up and over that shoulder. Tuck your head in. Knee down? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, no, so jump up and over, yep. Boom, like that, stay crouch. Pretty good. One thing to keep in mind for this, whatever shoulder you're rolling over, always keep that same foot in front. So right now we're doing left shoulder, which means left foot in front through the whole movement. Excellent. Good. So now let's do it again and kind of combine those last two moves that we did. Okay, so we're going to do a one arm side hop into a roll. All right, and then finish in that spidey pose. All right, so the third movement we're going to learn today is the cartwheel. Uh, we're going to do three different variations uh, from low to medium to high, and Austin's going to take us through that. Cool. All right, guys, so here's how our cartwheel is going to start nice and low to the ground in a crouch, and we're just going to think about spinning almost like we're doing a 360. Your hands are going to go over here, and then you just jump back into that crouch. Okay, really nice and easy. Then, as you get more comfortable with it, you can come up to kind of like a midway squat. Okay. We're key here is we're just jumping off one foot at a time. So whatever foot is kicking up, let that leave a little bit before, a little bit before your hands touch the ground. All right? Yeah. Good. Very good. So yeah, that first one is really good for safety. We're nice and low to the ground. You have nothing to be afraid of. Um, and now our second one, we're going up a little higher. So now for this one, we're standing up nice and tall. Arms are up. We're thinking about that same place where our hands went from before, also leaning, kicking that foot up before our hands touch the ground. Okay. Cool. And just watch where you're going. Watch your hands go onto the ground. Keep your arms nice and strong and straight. And give it a try. Go nice and slow at first. And now, back to Spidey. All right, so arms out. Yep. Yeah. 
All right, level three. Now we're getting into kind of gymnastic style cartwheel. For this one, what's really important is you're starting in a lunge with your chest facing forward. So in this case, it would be like this. All right, I'm gonna go to the side here. Boom, chest forward. That back leg kicks up nice and powerfully. And we're gonna wait until the last second to turn our hands sideways on the ground. Okay, don't turn too early and have your chest come out of alignment. Keep it nice and forward. And then when we finish, we're trying to finish in that same sort of lunge that we started in with the arms up. Okay, so the fourth movement is the uh, kip up. We're going to be doing um, this movement here because you know Spider Man does get on the uh, the ground a lot, and this is a good way to actually get up off the ground when an opponent attacks you. So cool. All right, so here we go. First thing we're going to do is just kind of crouch down, lay on the ground, and get on our back. Okay. All right. And what's important about the kip up is you're rolling back onto your hands. So your hands are going to go up here by your shoulders and press on the ground, um, and you're getting about getting a little bit of power from your hands but most of the power is coming from kind of coiling your legs up and over your head almost like you're doing a backwards roll and then snapping with your legs and your hips to pop your body off the ground okay so it's like a spring it's like you're, you're treating your body definitely like a spring and you got to get the timing of this there's a really kind of narrow timing window where we're using our muscles elasticity to really pop us up if you go too slow or too fast you're gonna miss that kind of perfect timing all right so yeah so before we try it, let's just practice rocking back into that position. So we're going to rock back, feet come up and over the head, get your hips up off the ground, and then you can kind of practice bouncing a little from here. Up. Yep, just like that, okay? And then now when we want to try it, we're going to rock back, give it a nice big kick, and then go into an arch, all right? Try to get our hips up and forward in front of us, and then once we're coming up, then we'll settle back into that squat. Big kick. Nice. You saw as it goes up, he gets into that nice arch position, almost like you're going into a bridge. And then as the chest comes up, you're going to reach forward with the arms to get your chest forward and land it. So you kick, arch, and come up nice and high. We'll go spidey for you. <laughs> Try it on a soft surface like grass or sand. Or when I first learned this move when I was younger, I would take my bed off its frame, put my mattress on the ground, and just try it on that. Nice. All right. It's definitely going to take a few tries, but you can get it. All right, so for the last movement is the uh, the pole climb. All right, yeah, pole climb, guys. So first thing to remember when we try this is stay low at first and do it a place where it's safe to fall. Right now we're learning it on sand. If you fall off right here, it's really not that bad. And we're not going to be climbing that high. All right, second thing, check your surface. This really works best if you have a grippy surface. In this case, we're barefoot on sand on a metal pole. That's very slippery. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you over here if we come over, is before I start climbing it, I'm just going to get that sand off the, off the ball of my foot on both of these feet here. That way I'm nice and grippy. And also if you wipe down your foot or your shoes with your hand, you're gonna get some of that hand oil or sweat on there and it's gonna give you a little bit of extra tack. From there, we put our foot up, bending at the knee, and lean away from the pole. Keep your arms straight the whole time you're climbing. Okay. Just like that, all right? By leaning back and keeping our arms straight, that's gonna push our feet into the pole, allowing us to keep grip, all right? If you bend your arms, your weight pushes down, and then you're gonna slide off, right? Which is incorrect. Yeah, there you go. Give it a little nice wipe down. Oh. And I would say that's a good start right there. And what you can do here is. If you guys are cosplayers and wearing a spidey suit, you can pose one hand, right? Take a picture and safely come back down. And then if you want to go a little higher, uh, all right. I, I Austin here is going to show you how to do that. So here we go. So I'm really focusing on where I'm putting my feet, keeping my balance, leaning back, getting good grip every time. So it's safely on top. And if you slip, you can just kind of hang on. All right, you fall over the other side. Just keep your feet pressed into it and always maintain grip. Always try to maintain at least three points of contact, right? That's a rule in rock climbing that they like to follow. Three points of contact is gonna keep you safe. All right, and again, if you are on something like this, it's angled, it's very easy to spin around it. If that happens, just grab and hang on. Maintain grip with your hands and clamp your feet into it. All right, everyone, that's a wrap. 
I just learned a bunch of new stuff. I feel more like Spider-Man. I don't know what you guys feel like, but uh, I'm sure I'm gonna wear my costume in the next video and probably try some stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. Also comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Um, what else you guys wanna see? Um, also, what was your favorite movement of all five uh, basic movements that we learned today? Um, also check out Austin's channel. The, his videos on the description box below, so make sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.